high school students among three is charged with carjacking and shooting at a Warren gas station. That's not the exciting part for me. It's the part where they speaking in court. Here we go. face a string of charges, including attempted murder and carjacking for a chilling attack at a Warren gas station. Prosecutors say they just walked up and critically shot the woman while she was pumping gas and then took off with her car. Let's get out to Rod Maloney live tonight. And Rod, they didn't even let the woman give up her keys. No, they didn't let her. They did not offer her her life by saying, well, just give us your keys. And you can go. Nope, that's not what they did. Shout out to Terrence for the $2 cash out. Say she lying just like the host. 541, we listen. I appreciate that right there. Right, let me, look, 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 look. Oh, Pamela, this is particularly cold blooded crime, Warren yes, police is. are telling us, because they say that the person who actually pulled the trigger is a high schooler. He and his co defendants were arranged here at 37th District Court in Warren just this afternoon. All right. Uh you say three boys? I say three charged. Uh, are you Javon Lamont Oliver? Sir. Oliver is a senior at Martin Luther King High in Detroit. His shirt reads, I don't look for trouble. It finds me. That's a hell of a shirt right there when you at the resort, when you got to speak to the judge and all that stuff right there. That's a hell of a shirt. But go ahead. But that's not how Warren police see it. They say he jumped from this white GMC SUV in the early morning hours Friday at this Warren Sunoco station on 8 Mile, allegedly shot a Livonia woman who had just paid for her gas, the shots hitting her once in the abdomen, twice in the leg, left her for dead, and then stole her Nissan Sentra and phone. Executive Lieutenant David Chris says this happened quickly and without warning. See, I saw a girl, though. <laughs> Me too. The robbery, there was no verbal threat. There was no threat with the gun, no attempt to gain gain the keys or gain the car uh, he pulled up and just started shooting Oliver facing a dozen felony counts including assault with intent to murder carjacking and weapons charges wow. along with him 20 year old Detroit resident Michael McCall jr. Michael. facing seven felonies in the carjacking seven felonies boy you is in trouble trouble shout out to Marcus for the two dollar super chat say that Say they gonna claim it was by accident on purpose out here. He's held tonight on a $750,000 cash bond. The driver, Warren police say, 27-year-old Shakira Janice Davneta Hayes, facing... Davneta Hayes. Shakira? Baby. Here you go. Five felony counts in the carjacking, and while police say she, McCall, and Oliver didn't give their victim much of a chance... I can't. I didn't hurt anybody. Listen... And please, please, please just give me a chance. Please give me a bond and I will come to court and I will do everything I have to do. I will get a job. She's held in a half million dollar cash surety bond. Oliver, one million dollars in cash surety bond. She gonna tell on everybody. I promise you. Look at her. very happy that we were able yeah, to she get tell it, tell it. less than 24 hours. Who don't cry that bad? about this case, the police and the prosecutor said in court in the swear to section of this arraignment that all three of these defendants have admitted to their roles in this case. What that means going forward, we're not quite sure about. But in the uh, in the end, the prosecution said, should they make these sky high bonds? They want to make sure that they have steel uh, case tethers, GPS tethers on their ankles to make sure that they cannot be. You ain't got to say. GPS tethers and anklets. We call them anklets right here. It's, it's simple. He cut off because they say they are that much of a threat to the community. Now, now they all done told on themselves because they all admitted to what they had done did. They've all admitted to their involvement into what happened. Yes, they did. But, uh, uh, boy, she a tell where I a plea deal out here in these. I'm trying to tell you. Didn't give their victim oh. much of a chance. Shout out to Marcus for the $2 super chat. He say she turned state property quick. Hashtag violation. Look at that face. Look at that face. That is not the face of a hard high schooler. You riding around. Your partner's in the car with you and shit. They got that oo-wop with them. That's a gun. I bet y'all be talking shit and be selling out the people and everything because y'all got that fire. You the driver. <laughs> yeah, I didn't hurt anybody. Listen, and please, 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 please just give me a chance. Please. She just
just need a chance, Your Honor. Just give me a bond, baby. Somebody will pay. Don't give me nothing over like fifteen thousand. So like the bond could be like fifteen hundred. I know somebody who got fifteen hundred. Go ahead on and get me out. No, we gonna give you some high, baby. And I will come to court and I will do everything I have. I believe that you gonna come to court every every court date we set for you, baby. Yes, I do. Do I will get a job? She's held tonight in a house. She, she gonna get a job. But you didn't get a job before the incident. But now, since it's real out here in these streets, you want a job now. That's what's up. See what motivates you? Going to prison motivated you, baby. So shout out to her and her clique, her and her group, you know what I'm saying, for doing what they wanted to do when they had done did it. To all the people out here, Watch 23, 6, and your 9 at all times. They might not even ask you if you want to live. I'm trying to explain. Moving right along.